This is a video. This is a video on how to remove the troublesome electrical connector on a 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan with ABS. You need to do this when you uh, do a wheel bearing. The wheel bearing will come with this wire right here going down to the wheel bearing itself and this connector is up on your wheel well somehow. <clears throat> now here's what I suggest. After you, you take your wheel off, your brake ca uh, caliper off, and your rotor off, and also try to get the dust shield off. Uh, you need to look at everything, and on the back of the dust shield, uh, this wire might be clipped on there. It depends on how your vehicle is made. <clears throat> now, the first thing you want to do before you even mess with this stupid wire is take multiple pictures of how this wire is routed. Because when you go to put it back together, you're going to be a little bit tired and disgusted and you're not going to remember how it goes. Okay, the next thing you want to do after that is spray this connector as much as you can and blow it off and spray it again and blow it off because it's going to be all filled up with junk and you're not going to be even be able to tell what it looks like or how it works. <clears throat> all right, now, first thing you can do after you've done all of that is take this fat wire here which you will have a new one going down to your um, wheel bearing just clip this off and get it out of the way you don't need it that'll get it out of the way all right this thing will be stuck into your wheel well with these here little plastic tabs here you'll get new ones of these too I believe they should be coming on your um, on your new um, wheel bearing. So now here's the hard part <clears throat> and it's very difficult to see if you don't have a good flashlight and this is not clean. This is a double lock. It's very stupid but it does work. So you've got to take your little screwdriver and put it right underneath this little red thing in the middle then pull this tab back. See how the red tab is pulled back. All right, that's the first lock. Now you get under here in this here little gray lock there, and you pull it, lift it up, and now if everything goes well, you can pull this apart. This this should this will stay on your car. And do not cut these wires here because um, they go up to your computer and work your ABS. And you definitely don't want to cut them. The wires you want to cut is right here. You want to get rid of this and get it out of the way. All right. Now, once this is separated, then you can get some sort of a pry mechanism and pull this away from the um, wheel well and clean it all up. And then make sure that you have good pictures of that wire routing because it's not as simple as it seems. And also make sure you know where this here where this part of it came from. If it if it's hooked up over something, take a picture of it because uh, you don't want these wires dangling and getting caught on anything that they shouldn't be getting caught on. Now when you put it back together, everything's clean of course. You just snap this together like that. And that's the first lock is locked. Then you take this little red tab and you snap it in and you're ready to go. So. I hope this seems rather simple, but I'll tell you what, you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out how this works and breaking these things. So just take your time, and if it don't come right away, there might be dirt stuck in there or something, 
and spray it and blow it and spray it and blow it. Now here is again one time I'll show you. You're going to lift this little red tab in the middle here and this is going to slide. It might not slide as easy as this because I've cleaned this and cleaned it and cleaned it. It's going to have all kind of dirt in it and it's not going to want to move. So uh, you just got to keep on cleaning it. And then of course you get to this second little tab. It still won't come apart now until you lift this second little tab right under there and now it comes apart. So I hope this helps.